Welcome to Electron Line. Here's another couple examples what line integrals are. In this case, we're dealing with vector fields. Here we have a force acting on an object with mass m, and we're going to push it along this path right here. Now, the path can be divided or subdivided into small little segments, let's call them DRs, small little changes in our progress as we're pushing this object from point A to point B. Notice that here the direction of travel and the direction of the force is the same, they're parallel to one another, but further along the path that we're going to take, you can see that those are not the same, that there's an angle, let's call it theta, between the force applied and the direction of motion. So if we multiply these two vectors together via the dot product, we have the force dotted with a small little advancement on our, on our path along the curve, or along the line of the path that we're going to take, and that's going to be equal to the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. And notice the result of the dot product will give us a scalar. So we can represent this whole thing if we're then going to add up all these little interactions between the force and the displacement all the way along the path. We're going to add up all those small little multiplications, dot products, and that is equal to the integral along the curve. And so this is what we call a line integral, wherever the force interacting with the displacement for every little point along the line, and that's going to be equal to the work done by that force. And that is another example of a line integral. Another place where we can use line integrals is, for example, let's say we have a wire that has a current, and because of that there will be a magnetic field going around the wire like this. You can find the direction of the magnetic field by putting a thumb in the direction of the current, and your fingers will curl in the direction of the magnetic field. Now what happens when we multiply the magnetic field times the displacement along a particular path, let's say at a particular distance, at a particular radius like this. And so when we travel along the path, we will find that we've multiplied the strength of the magnetic field times the displacement, and then we integrate up all those multiplications all the way around. Again, it's going to be a dot product, but in this case, the direction of the magnetic field and the direction of displacement is going to be parallel so the angle between them is always going to be zero, and the cosine of zero is always one. So it's always going to be equal to b times the path length, which is going to be two pi r. If we multiply that, or we add all that together, that equals what we call the permeability of free space times the current through the wire. As you can see that there's a relationship between the strength of the current and the strength of the magnetic field based upon that line integral. So there's all kinds of good practical purposes of line integrals that we can see that we can travel along a line with a vector field, or as we saw in the previous video, we can travel along the line and interact with a scalar field. And the results that we get depend upon whether or not we're interacting with a vector field or a scalar field, or whether or not we use a dot product or a cross product. So we'll see some more specific examples of each type and slowly you'll get the, you get the feel of what line integrals are and you'll be able to work them out and be able to understand what we're doing because line integrals are kind of confusing. So let's stay tuned and see what we have in store for you on the next videos.